Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. We are back once again inside our women's prison. Last time we had two riots. This time, hopefully, we will not have two riots. It's currently just after, well, it's like 10.30 p.m. on day 56. The danger level is starting to lower in the prison. It was rising for a time. All of these ladies are now tucked up, snug in their beds, waiting for Father Christmas to do- wait, no. No, no, it's not actually Christmas yet. I think it's five degrees outside, so it's probably like autumn. Maybe it's close to Christmas, but not quite Christmas. Okay. Anyway, uh, we expanded max sec last time. It looks like we've got the boys in doing the work. Uh, they're building the cells. They're laying down some plumbing. The local contractor's doing some nice plumbing, which is really good. Uh, we also prototyped up a uh, shower shit shave solitary cell, which I think we're going to replicate across the board for all these people currently serving time in solitary confinement. We're going to get some toilets, some showers and drains installed in solitary so that when they're in solitary, at least they can sit down and have a crap and also maybe have shower themselves after said crap has been taken. I think that that would be good. I've just realized as well that there are uh, big solitary cells down here, but no shower for Minsec. We're going to have to sort out these solitary cells. The solitary cells do not need to be big, it turns out. Uh, and we probably would like to also um, replicate this as well. Um, like here, 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 and here. Okay. What's actually being installed there, though? Nothing. It doesn't look like. It looks like whatever happened here is not going to happen down here. Although maybe it'll happen. There it looks like there's a lot of barf down here. That's kind of gross, actually. All right. So, um, just a quick recap then. We have 28 people waiting solitary confinement. One person is in solitary. Six in lockdown, which is, of course, the people in Supermax. Supermax seems to be working out pretty well, actually. A lot of our big problematic prisoners uh, have been put in there. And hopefully that's going to help keep the danger levels low. If we take a quick look at the needs of our prisoners, hygiene starting to creep up again for everybody. Family is still an issue. There's a hundred. We've we've actually had gone down from 190 prisoners furious that they can't meet this need to 115. So something somewhere is working at least. That's good. Our staff needs are pretty much met actually. That's nice. Okay. So family, bit of recreation and hygiene are all issues that need to be addressed. Um, so we will continue to chop and change and hopefully get all of that working. We're also going to need, turns out, some more electricity down here. Look, we're going to have to run some electrical cables all the way down here, down here, probably over here, and probably over here too, actually. Good. Okay, the boys are in here, and they're doing some good work. Okay, and it looks like we have uh, capacity for, wait a second, what is our, what, what's our max sec Capacity. Oh shit, you know what's happened here? I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay, we gotta make sure that this is all max sec. Okay, I don't know, maybe maybe there was some issues there, okay? And staff only outside here like this as well. Okay, perfect. Alright, so our capacity for max sec is 59. We have 76 prisoners in max sec, okay? Um, but we should be able to meet that soon by um, getting these cells done, right? Like, we should be able to go into quick build, for instance, and say, let's quick... Oh, wait, no, these cells are too big. Oh, man. We made these cells in normal sec, like, humongous for some reason. Okay, well, we can definitely do these ones here, right? These ladies are all um, in some sort of lockdown. They're all handcuffed inside their cells for some reason. I don't know what they've done this time. I don't even want to know, actually. That's... That's how done I am <laughs> with the prison population and what they get up to in their spare time. I am I am completely put a fork in me. I'm done. Okay, so it's got, it needs to be the second one in. Okay, for the okay, so it's like here, right? For the pipes, just a quick a, a quick pipe work to be done here, and we're gonna need some hot water in here as well for the showers. Man, it is expensive having showers and toilets in each cell, but I think ultimately it's probably worth it. Oh, it looks like they have actually done this. We're gonna have to plumb these up as well. That's fine. Solitaries for shitting, showering, and shaving. We're gonna need some hot water in here as well. 
for the uh, for hot showers. You know what? I wouldn't mind solitary so much if I had access to a hot shower, actually. Okay, so 33 prisoners are shackled in their cells. That's fine. Nine prisoners have been unnecessarily searched. 32 gang members are furious. Five armed guards are in service. Maybe we need more of those, actually. Let's take a look. We can definitely afford them, right? We have five armed guards, so let's get... Let's up that. We're gonna need to get some more lockers, okay? We're gonna need to get a couple of more lockers in here. We're gonna get them in like this. It's gonna be like a nice proper locker room, right? Perfect. Okay, now we have capacity for more armed guards. So we're gonna get some armed guards placed in some of the problem areas, okay? To try to suppress them. Like having a couple of armed guards in the canteen uh, for normal sec is probably a good idea. We have an armed guard hopefully suppressing inside the max sec canteen. That's good. So if I go to deployment and I look at armed patrols, yeah, funnily enough, we have none uh, currently. Most of our armed guards are patrolling in other areas. But we have five armed guards, which is kind of nuts, actually. So we should actually get an armed guard patrolling up here like this. And then let's get another one patrolling up here like this. Okay, good. Perfect. What is going on with this piece of floor? This is crazy. Okay, we canteen. Canteen, canteen, okay. So that one little square was not considered part of the canteen. It's like some sort of like old zoning issue or something like that. You know, like how you get that with properties and stuff. Like, uh, my driveway actually extends one centimeter out into the road and I own that bit of the road and stuff like It's the same thing for this canteen. There's that one square that was not claimed by the canteen when the canteen was first made. So there's a whole bunch of red tape around the fact that that one square is not canteen. So uh, technically during eating time, if a prisoner is in that square, they're going to have to go to the shoe because that's a big infraction, not being in the places that they're, mo they're, they're meant to be in and so on and so forth. So it's a good thing. Maybe actually the fact that we've uh, cleared that up and tidied that up means that the overall danger level will lower a little bit as well, right? Like that could happen, hopefully, with any luck. All right, hygiene. It looks like overnight everybody just gets really stinky and really fucking pissed off about it as well. Turns out that their bladders fill up like big time as well overnight, which is, you know... Pretty natural. Uh, we still have 141 prisoners furious that they can't uh, have any visitation. I guess maybe visitation doesn't always look busy. Um, and I guess there's 16 families waiting to visit. But maybe we could do with just having some more phones dotted around. Like that could help. Like the phones definitely do help out, right? We got phones in this big nursery. That's fine. We have a couple of phones inside the canteen. Maybe we could do with just having a couple more phones. We have seven just waiting around doing nothing. So we could set them up like in between these TVs. And maybe some more people will be able to phone home ET style while they're actually meant to be EATing. But instead of doing that, they're just going to go onto the phone and phone home instead and say, you know what? I had to go and have a shit shower and a shave inside solitary confinement today because me and my friends had a big riot. And then the person's person's mom on the other end of the phone is just like, Oh dear. Oh, that's terrible. Why are you rioting like that? And everybody's just sort of like, Well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know why we're rioting. Oh, we can get the psychologist in here now too. Okay, good. Psychologist. Perfecto. So that now means that we can go into um, programs, right? And we can do another behavioral therapy or two, okay? And we can go into edit schedule and in this office we have a, uh, where is it? It is a parole, 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 parole classroom, kitchen, parole shared, parole shared office in MaxSec. Behavioral therapy is happening, happening a couple of times, okay? Maybe not this many times, though. I think we could probably do with having one of these moved over to here and just have two instead. Okay, perfect. Right, two behavioral therapy sessions uh, are going to be happening. We're going to need another chair in here. Good thing we have an extra, okay. And now uh, some of these MaxSec prisoners can come in here and be profiled, uh, which will be really good, actually. It's going to be really good for, like, their self-esteem and also... Just generally, I think, uh, for, you know, stuff. Okay, let's get a laundry room set up in here as well for them. We're going to get a little laundry. We're going to get a mail room set up inside MaxSec as well. Because I think that could help with the, uh, with, the, with the family situation, right? So inside this mail room, this MaxSec mail room. Oh, Christ. 
Okay, what's going on here? Is it this one? This capacitor is just maxed out for some reason. What the heck is going on? Okay, let's see. Oh man, this is just what we need, right? Okay, so this whole grid here is completely over overtaxed now. We're gonna maybe have to get another... God, I don't even know if we can afford to get another one. Okay, what we might need to do then is sever the connection here, okay? Look at this. I, I know exactly what we can do. We could go into utilities and we could dismantle this utility here, okay? No, this utility right here. We're gonna dismantle it, okay? All right, get to work, um, Jeff. Make sure you dismantle that utility. And then what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna connect up this to here, okay? So that MaxSec and SuperMax are like both on the same grid, a less used grid, and also all the family cells too, okay? Please get to work doing that. I'll open the doors manually for you guys. Don't worry about it. Really, somebody needs to dismantle this utility and work on the other one. That's got to be a priority job, okay? Not the parole hearing, although the parole hearing... Well, there's a parole hearing happening in MaxSec. That's good. We can start getting rid of some of these MaxSec people. That's going to be pretty useful. Okay, so let's... Come on. We got the little bulldozer here. Come on, somebody. Let's get, let's get this wire out of the way. And let's get the power back on because look, half of the prison is affected and we got nine new prisoners arriving in the next two hours as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, come on. Come on, we need this job to be done. Okay, we need this job done now. Right now. Where, where are all the workers? God, they're still working on the toilets and the fucking showers and stuff. And here I am manually opening all the doors for them. Okay. That's fine. I know it's it's not ideal. You know, it's almost time for everybody to come out and eat and stuff. But, you know, at the same time, I mean, like, what the... F you know, I'm only one man, right? I'm only one man. Okay, one, two, three, four... Okay, we're out of money. We've just run out of money. We got a couple of extra armed guards. Wait a second. What the fuck is this? Okay, hang on a second. Can you smell something? Yes. Somebody is trying to escape. All right, who is it? Is it... Tell me it's not. Okay, are we... Are we really searching the death row toilets? It can't be, right? It's gotta be in here. It's it's happening in here, okay? We're gonna have to search all of the toilets inside normal sec now. Okay, it's a big job, but somebody's gotta do it. We're gonna have to get in there. We're gonna have to search up all the toilets. And also, we're gonna have to... Hang on a second. Is this ready to go back on now? Exhausted. This workman is exhausted. Yeah, I think it is, actually. I think it's ready to turn back on. Okay, so let's switch this bad boy on. Perfect. Okay. Man, there is definitely a tunnel here. And I'm not sure... It's got to be coming from here, right? We're going to find it in a second. It's going to be one of these cells here. Trying to get out this way. It's got to be, right? It doesn't seem to be anybody from death row. Jesus Christ. I mean, maybe if we get the... It's happening right by the kennel, too. Can you believe this? Oh, God. There's another fucking riot. Unbelievable. All right. We're doing a bang up. Okay. It's a, everybody... As soon as they get out of their cells... We got a tunnel that we're trying to find here. We're trying to get everybody hooked up to power inside MaxSec as well. That's not going too well. All right. Everybody back to your cells, okay? For your own safety. We're in the hole a little bit as well. We've got a tunnel here that we're trying to find. So far, we're not able to find it. Where is this? Okay, you know what? We're going to have to search all these toilets in here as well. Okay, we're going to find this tunnel one way or another. It looks like possibly it's coming from normal sec. Uh, but we're going to also check min sec just in case as well. Plus, we've got this riot as well. We're doing a bang up for everybody until we find this tunnel, okay? we got to get the situation under control. Holy crap, this is stressful. Okay, there's another riot happening. Even though we're in like a bang up situation, nobody is allowed to leave their cells. There's still, like, a mini-riot happening. Okay. But the main thing is nobody's died, so that's good. Okay. Everybody come out and go eat now. Okay, there's another riot. Okay, there's... It's fine. This is only a mini-riot. There's three riots today on day 57, if you can believe that. Still haven't found this tunnel either. Where could this tunnel be originating from? We have to find it. I, these people are going to be out of here, like, really soon. Is there no way that we can actually sniff the tunnel? What the hell? We're, we're, we might actually need to dismantle some toilets. Like, where could this tunnel be originating from? It can't be Death Row, right? Uh, Death Row wouldn't go down this way. they just try to get right out that way, right? It's got to be coming from in here. Maybe it's like one of these cells here. All right, good. The riots are under control. 
We have um, a whole bunch of people uh, awaiting solitary, but they'll be able to shit shave and shower in there as well. What's going on with this? Oh, uh, it's this one last little thing that needs to be done, and then we're 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 back to cooking with gas, or at least cooking with uh, some form of electricity. We're gonna get these guys on the new grid, and that should sort that out. We still haven't found this tunnel for Christ's sake. Uh, we're still we're still sniffing around for it, but we still haven't found it. Where could it possibly be coming from? Maybe it is Minsec. Maybe somebody in Minsec is stupid enough to like dig all the way up here. Maybe this is just gonna be the biggest tunnel we've ever seen. Can't be though, right? Is it even still there? Come on, dogs. Get out here and have a sniff. Oh wait, hang on a second. Yeah. No, it's like right here now. It's moving. <laughs> it's moving. Where could it be coming from? Where is the where where is there a toilet that is gonna be leading to there? We've done all of normal set we searched all of the toilets for Christ's sakes. Okay, we're gonna have to search him again. We're gonna have to search all these toilets again. It's gotta be coming from normal sec, right? We're gonna tax all of our dudes to the max and find this tunnel, okay? We're gonna do it. We might even need to do a shakedown. Are we doing a shakedown? Fuck it. Yeah, we're doing a shakedown. Holy shit. We've had a whole- We found it. Okay, we found the tunnel. Jesus Christ, it was a big one too. Holy moly. God, that's close. Okay, we don't have- We don't have the funds <laughs> to remove this tunnel. Thank God we did the shakedown. Oh my God, there was tunnels forming here as well. I knew it was coming from normal sec. We searched all of those toilets and we didn't even find it. So I guess shakedown is almost like the guarantee. Look at all the shit that we found after all these riots as well. Three pickaxes, two tasers, five power drills, two sets of keys. Man, it just goes to show you've always got to do a shakedown after a riot. Even if it's just a mini riot or it's like uh, a set of riots or whatever, you got to do it. Okay, it looks like everything is under control again. And by some fucking miracle, um, nobody is dead or has escaped during any of these riots. Like, we seem to be pretty good at, at banging people up non-sexually and then uh, avoiding riots. Uh, sorry, avoiding escapes and deaths. Which is nice, actually. It's really good. Okay, so this mail room, which is what we were last working on before we were rudely interrupted, we do have the sorting desks. So let's get some sorting desks set up here for the mail room. Okay, we're gonna get a table in here as well. We don't have enough money, of course. Uh, we don't even have enough money for chairs. So let's get rid of one sort- Wait, no, we had the spare sorting desks, right? That That's right, we had the spare sorting desks. Okay, so let's get the sorting desks set up then. Uh, which way does it face, though? It's like that way, so it's like that? No, hang on a second. The paper's close. Okay, it's like that. Okay, perfect. So that one's actually wrong. God damn these sorting desks. So it's like that. Okay, now now the sorting desks are right. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna get a mail room set up in max sec. And the thinking behind this is, of course, that um, the family needs will be met, right? We're probably gonna need to get a mail room set up in normal sec as well, which shouldn't be a problem. We've got some space over here for stuff if we want to do it, right, in normal sec. Like, it doesn't need to just be another battery of cells necessarily. We could set up a couple of rooms over here for a normal sec to have a couple of, of things, like possibly a library would be useful. Uh, possibly also uh, a mail room, which would be pretty useful. So we might think about doing that. Okay, good. And it looks like max sec, this cell is not working here. And also there's still some pipe work to be done or, no, it looks like uh, actually the water is not reaching here and I don't have enough money to make it reach. Okay, fine. So, today really we're just trying to get people cleared through parole so that we can get some money back uh, and then actually finish off some of these jobs and uh, like the piping, the water and stuff. Man, I am so overwhelmed by this prison. Like, it is huge and it's getting increasingly difficult to manage. Holy crap. We have capacity for 392 inmates in here. It's nuts. We still don't have maximum capacity sorted out. We have 76 in max sec and we have capacity for 69, which means that a couple of people are just like in full-time solitary confinement because that's all that's all that they can do. So as, as, as we start getting people released on parole and making some money, that's got to be the next priority, right? Uh, and also, of course, you know, the mailroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> the the mail room for max sec is gonna be like a big one too. It's gonna be a, a big priority. I wonder how our needs are now for um, for family. Is it gone down? Yeah, it is going down quite a bit actually. Some of these people who are in permanent solitary right now, of course, will will have those family needs that we can address. But it looks like having these extra phones and stuff might have cleared like a bit of the backlog, which is pretty good. Our death row inmates, uh, Chloe Merwood and Madison Berry, don't seem to be progressing much with their clemency. I wonder if that's because we have parole hearings. Death row appeal. Okay, death row appeal is happening right now. Oh, okay, okay, so they're, they're all here. So maybe we might be in a position soon to fry somebody, which would be nice. Whilst all this other mayhem is happening, it would be nice to actually execute somebody as well. I think we're due an execution. I think I think we're due one. And I think everybody's going to be really happy when it happens. Okay, we ha now have some money so we can probably remove these tunnels, which is definitely something that needs to happen. It's going to cost us 22 bucks to remove those tunnels. And then it's going to cost us an extra 720 bucks to remove these tunnels. It has to be done though, right? Tunnels, got tunnels all the way down here too. So a lot of cells that actually can't be used right now because of all the tunnels. Are there any other cells over here that can't be used or anything? Minsec, have you been trying to tunnel recently? No. Okay, good. Minsec, Minsec surprisingly actually behaved themselves, which is pretty nice. This shakedown was super useful. We found a massive tunnel system, and potentially uh, they were getting close too. They could have even maybe escaped. And uh, also we found a cell phone and three screwdrivers and also three pints of beer as well, which is pretty useful. Six drug needles, uh, seven pickaxes, two tasers, five forks, three knives, four cigars, and a stun baton and also keys. It's like the, um, you know, the, the, on the first day of Christmas, my shakedown gave to me. Five golden power drills, four table saws, three bottles of whiskey, two pairs of scissors, and a cell phone, and a set of keys. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's beautiful. Tom, I hope that you can maybe put some music in behind that as well. Like if you can find, <laughs> just find some nice music to put in behind that. Because my voice, I know it, it's angelic and nice and... I think having a little bit of music will bring tears to people's eyes, which is what we're, this is what we do this for, right? I do YouTube specifically to bring tears to people's eyes. And if I don't do that on any given day, I've failed. And I am not a failure, okay? I'm somebody who likes to, what the fuck? Who died? Lila Griffin has just killed a janitor. No. Where are our armed guards while all this is happening? Can you take her out? Look what she's doing! Look at this! Oh, come on. Are you fucking serious right now? Okay, yeah. Fucking kill each other. Okay. Look, Renee Bucali is now dead. Lila Griffin killed her. Alright. It looks like Lila Griffin is now gonna kill a construction worker as well. And has been stunned on conch. Okay, so there's been four deaths today. Four deaths today at the hands of Lila Griffin. <laughs> oh my god. The good news is, is that Lila Griffin killed Renee Bucali, who is, of course, the uh, cook killer. The one that broke into the staff room with a knife and stabbed a cook to death. So at least she got her comeuppance, which is nice, right? But Lila Griffin, of course, uh, is not... We're not able to execute or do anything with her. She's just gonna have to be put into solitary for some time. She's injured. She's gonna need to be tended to. We're still doing this shakedown as well. The danger level of the prison is uh, rising as usual. Okay, now there's been five deaths today? Oh, it looks like, okay, of course. Yeah, Lila is still going at it. Oh, okay. Yeah, take her, oh, she's got a baton now. All right, good job, everybody. Um, yeah, and I mean, okay, so, so let me get this straight. We revived her. She went back to her cell and killed a construction worker. <laughs> Fuck me! And a poor janitor as well. And also an armed guard. Those things cost a lot. Fuck. Fuck me. 1500 bucks you just cost us, Lila Griffin, you bitch. What the hell? 
You think it's like some sort of fucking party in here or something? It's not a party, okay? It's real life. That person's never gonna see his family again. He's dead. He died in a prison. The hands of a monster who should arguably be in here now, ready to receive the chair, but no. She'll never be. Because this game doesn't believe in justice. Look, we're searching her cell now to see if we can find any contraband. All that we found is uh, Satan himself in human form, just chilling inside a prison cell. That is disgusting. I can't believe that. You know, we've had riot after riot after riot and no problems. And then all it takes is one Lila Griffin on the kit. You know what, though? That, if we can make these people mad enough and contain them enough as well, though... Like, there's a silver lining to every every cloud, right? And, uh, well, rain cloud. <gasps> Chloe Merwood's ready to be executed! <laughs> oh my god, okay, that's the other silver lining. But the other one is, as well, Renee Bucali is dead. And that's good. Because she would have just been rotting in here forever, and now she's, she's getting out of here in a body bag, which is probably the best way to go. Alright, well, listen. We're gonna end there, okay? The shakedown is almost done. The temperature in the prison is high, as usual. And Mayor Calvin Heller is phoning me to say that the media have started a campaign over the amenities granted prisoners bringing a lot of heat on my office. I'm passing a bill which bans TVs in common areas of prison, so I need you to remove all TVs from your common rooms or you will be fine. You have six hours. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well, listen. We're going to do that next time. Uh, we're going to execute Chloe Mer Merwood next time. And also, we're going to remove all the TVs from the common areas because we have to. And we have six hours to do it, apparently. And also, hopefully, somebody will kill Lila Griffin with any luck as well. Alright, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time!